Now we are on to question number 42, which is really just a simple ratio question. Um, let's read it first before we start looking at the uh, diagram. It says, uh, to find the length of a lake, surveyors measure the distances shown such that triangle ABC and ARS are similar, meaning they can be compared and they've been increased at a similar rate for their, their size. Uh, if RS is equal to 3 kilometers, that's this side right here, AS is equal to 4 kilometers, that's this right here, and SC is 2 kilometers, that's this right here. What is BC, the length of the lake? So what we're going to do is really set up a uh, ratio and proportion question. Well, let's, let's do the first ratio uh, that's easiest to, to identify. In order for us to do this, we're gonna, going to have to have two uh, ratios that we're going to set up in order to cross multiply. Well, let's do some comparing of, of the sides if we could. The first thing that I'd like to do is compare AS that side AS with RS. And then we're going to compare. Now you gotta keep this stuff straight, you really do. Then we've got to compare AC, that side AC, this whole side right here, everybody, the whole side right here with BC. That's this side right here. I want to clear out some of that scribbling so that it's a, a little easier to see, but you've got to compare like side to side and side to side equally in order to get the uh, ratio set up correctly. So let's start with a small triangle first. We'll do the small triangle first. <clears throat> the, fr the numerator is going to be, if you want to call it that, the numerator is going to be 4 because we're just going to be comparing AS first. So we got 4 here over, over what? Over RS, 3 which is now equal to AC. So watch, I've got to include AS and AC. So 4 plus 2 is going to give me 6 because AS is 4, AC is 6. How much is BC? What's this side right here? Well, we don't know. So all we have to do is cross multiply these things and we wind up with 18 is equal to 4x. By solving for x and using our handy little calculator, you will find that x is equal to 4.5. And that is, happens to be answer A right here. So I, I want to just point something out to you in these ratio questions. The most important thing for you to uh, to do is remember that you've got to compare uh, like side uh, AS and side RS equally to, equally to side uh, AC to side BC. Let me get this out of here and, and, and make sure that I, I am very clear on this. So when you set up this ratio you're going to compare side AS which is this side right here to side AC which is this side right here. You will then compare RS to BC. The important thing to remember is when you're after comparing AC and R, AS and AC right here, that you remember AS, I'm circling it right now, is 4. And that AC, I'm circling it really big on your screen right now, is really 4 plus 6 or 4 plus 2, I'm sorry, which is going to equal 6. So be sure that you're careful then when you have, when you have these ratios where you've got to like combine two sides together. In other words, it wouldn't be 4, uh, AS wouldn't be 4, and AC wouldn't be 2. AC is the, 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 the whole thing, 4 plus 2, which is equal to 6. All right, if that uh, was poor or poorly explained, um, send me an email and I'll help you out. But let's go on. Thanks.